check out our new sponsor, The Health Blaze. All the information is in the description. Use the promo code above. Good filler one boxing at 18% off of all their natural products from deodorant, pomade, toothpaste, and much, much more. And they have additional discounts on their website as well. That's thehealthblaze.com. Start December 20th. That promo code is good for 18% off. All right, man, we back. Y'all know what the business is. Uh... Goodfellow Sports TV. Some of the brothers wanted me to speak on this uh, yesterday live stream about uh, Miguel Burchett, uh basically ducking Jamel Heron. And um, appreciate everybody for checking in. I was watching the Three Kings boxing on Project Box Talk last night. He was talking about that shit. <laughs> that motherfucker had me rolling last night, man. Bo, Bo didn't even have shit to say. It was, shit was so funny, bro. He's like, you said everything. So I'll be checking around. I don't always comment, but I check around people who got good content, man. So shout out to them, man. But uh, yeah, I wasn't aware that he was ducking. You know what I'm saying? Usually my ear to the street a little bit. I know when Jamel Harrington beat Ito that uh, he had gotten the ring or whatever. So basically the brothers told me that uh, that he said the unification wasn't worth much. And I put the article in the, in the description. I checked it out. They said it wasn't worth much, and you know, and maybe it'd be lucrative down the line. He wanted a unification bout with Loma. Well, he want to move up, fight Lomachenko or Javante Tank Davis. But you, you can't really knock him. It ain't, it ain't like he ducking him and saying, you know, uh, you know, I want to fight a Casino. Got to be Machado. I want to fight. You know what I'm saying? I want to fight a 122 pounder. You feel what I'm saying? He ain't saying no shit like that. But you know, uh, I mean, you go to the fight. What you expect? He thought Ito was gonna win. All right, and Ito don't bring a ton of money unless he planned was he was planning going going to Japan. You know that kid didn't have a lot of amateur background. Jamil Harrington got an amateur pedigree and amateur background. I'm not saying he the greatest to ever to ever fight, but obviously it's something his style that Burchett don't like. And and the Mexicans, they don't they don't like fighting uh they don't like fighting movers. You know what I'm saying? They don't like fighting guys. They got the rhythmic and the perpetual movement in my Curtis Anderson voice. They don't like fighting the guys who got the perpetual movement, man. And, and that's for real. They don't like fighting those guys. And unfortunately, uh, Jamil Heron, he sees something that he don't want to fight in Jamil Heron. But, it, you know, like I said, he said he want to fight Tank or or, or he want to fight uh, Lomachenko. You can't knock him for that, though. But what you can knock him for is going, going to a fight and then dismissing. You feel me? And then dismissing. Um, um, Jamil Heron, because you thought Ito was going to win. That's kind of suspect right there, then. Do you really want to take? Do you really want uh, Lomachenko? If you if you don't if you don't believe you can you compete with Jamil Heron, and don't forget the guy that knocked out Miguel Burchett at 126 pounds, I believe. I watched that fight like a couple years ago. The guy that knocked him out, Jamil Heron, actually beat him at lightweight. He was a tall guy. And maybe the height is scaring uh, Burchett, because you know, Burchett couldn't really know how to get in. That guy, I think, uh, knocked him out with a left hook. Ice, ice, baby. You know what I'm saying? And But, hey, that's the story of black fighters, man. You know? A lot of these guys find excuses. Oh, you don't make enough money. You're not. What, what did Ito do to build his audience up here? He ain't got no audience here unless you was going to Japan to fight him wherever he's from, excuse me, to fight him. But that's their excuse. They always use that excuse. Oh, well, you know, what does he bring to the table? You know, and then when a the black fighter don't want to acknowledge a guy, don't want to fight a guy, especially like when Earl and Mikey, he wasn't trying to really acknowledge Mikey because he a lightweight. He know it was a, it was a, it was a no win situation. You beat him or you lose to him, you know, and you don't get no credit or you get discredited one way or the other way. And then when he, he really want to try to pursue it, he ducking, trying to pursue a Sean Porter fight. All of a sudden he ducking Mikey, he ducking, uh, ducking Mikey. So, I mean, we, we put in a messed up situation in, uh, in boxing though, but you know, at the end of the day, Burchett, I mean, it don't surprise me, bro. It don't. He been in some wars. He a little, he got a lot of, a lot, even though they say he only like 29 or whatever, 28, he been in some wars, man. He probably got a ton of scar tissue. I mean, he defended his belt five times. Why not try to get a unification bout with uh with Jamil Heron and then, you know, then try to get Tank. But Tank ain't even looking that way. They not even acknowledging him. Tank is on easy road promotions. Tank ain't even acknowledging him, but you know, you can get them three two belts and then try to get Tevin Farmer belt. So, but like I said before, it's all it's the story of that man. They don't want to fight them rhythmic fighters, no matter how good or how bad or in between or how ordinary they is. That perpetual rhythmic movement give a lot of fighters that's not 
in, the, in, in America a lot of problems. And that's why a lot of these dudes should, you know, really come to the States and spar the black competition so they can get used to the rhythmic fighting in and out, side to side. And just that, that natural athletic ability, a lot of them dudes don't got. But, you know, this is, you know, duck, duck, goose, you know, ducking. And he and this is the duck. Oh, build yourself up. Like, what have you done? Nobody know you. No, no way. You know, your country, you're not celebrated. You know, who who make who tell you to make the rules? But you know, Jamil Hearing, man, you know, but if it was Jamil Hearing that said that, hey man, you know, uh, you know, he he talking but check. He told you that the Negro Punto, you know, he's he ain't nothing, man. He don't want to fight Bache, you know, but check knock his ass out, man. That's why you don't listen to you don't listen to people, man. You know, you take the Canelo and the Floyd right. That's that's the one thing Floyd learned from Canelo. Okay? I mean Canelo learned from Floyd. He learned that no matter what you do in boxing, they always gonna complain. So move how you wanna move. And when Canelo move how you wanna move, I can't even knock him because that's Floyd. When Floyd beat one boogie man or a guy that couldn't be, or they say Floyd couldn't be, they got another guy. It was always another guy, 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 another guy. Excuse me, another guy. They keep creating guys. Same thing with Canelo, another guy. Shit, if I keep somebody dog loose like a mug. Glad I ain't hit his ass. Black people in the hood don't never walk that dog, bro. All I got to do is feed that nigga. He come home with me. But, um... But, like I said, man, I mean, no matter what you do in boxing, especially... And I know people don't really look at Canelo in that light. You know, but it is. It's the truth. When you top dog, it's always a nigga you can't beat. Oh, go up the heavyweight, beat Deontay Wilder. Oh, boy, he can't move up and beat David Hay. You know, he's scared of Klitschko's. He beat the Klitschko. You know what? He 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 can't beat Deontay Wilder. It's always some new shit, man. So I really don't pay it no attention, man, to be honest. If I'm Jamil Heron, I move on. I beat I beat my mandatory, and all of a sudden, it is what it is. Maybe I can get a Lomachenko fight. Maybe we can unify with Tevin Farmer. But I'm a, I'm a huge supporter of Jamil Heron. I like him. A stand-up guy. Don't mistreat nobody. He hold, you know, he 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 make you he make you proud to say he a black fighter. He may not be the best fighter out there, but if I was him, fuck it. It's just it's the, it's the game. That's the game. That's how it's conditioned. Boxing is conditioned to to put down the black fighter, man, and and put us in positions or put the fight black fighters in positions to look weak and look like you know in a no win situation. So I wouldn't really trip. But it's Goodfellas Sports TV. Don't forget we on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter. Reach out to the email. You got business question to cry response ship. Uh, just keep sharing the videos. Don't forget to check out our sponsor, The Hellblaze, at thehellblaze.com. Promo code Goodfellow One Boxing. Get you 18% off the 100% all natural products. Lotions, soaps, foot soaks, bad bombs, deodorant, toothpaste, hair pot, made much, much more. Website, promo code, description. Appreciate the love, support. Share the videos. One time for the one time. Y'all know what the business is. We gone.